series combination of cells. The objective of this video is to understand what series of combination of cells, the formula for current flowing in a series of combination of cells. To create a series combination of cells, the negative terminal of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of the second cell. The negative terminal of the second cell is connected to the positive terminal of the third cell, and so on. Finally, the external resistance R is connected in series between the positive terminal of the first cell and the negative terminal of the last cell. Such a combination of cells is called a series combination of cells. For simplicity, here we consider all cells to be identical, each having an EMF epsilon and internal resistance R. Therefore, the total EMF of n cells in series will be equal to the sum of n EMFs, which is equal to n epsilon. Consider this as equation 1. The total internal resistance of n series resistances will be the sum of all resistances, which would be n times r. Consider this as equation 2. The external resistance r is in series with the total internal resistance nr, and so the current through r is the following. i is equal to n epsilon divided by nr plus capital R. The same current flows through all the cells. Now if the external resistance is very large compared to the internal resistance of each cell, then i is equal to n into epsilon by capital R. So in series combination of cells, i is equal to n times epsilon by capital R when r is a negligibly small value. So the current through the load resistance r will be n times the current sent by a single cell through the same r. 